So what is the Fediverse? What is Activity Pub? What is Mastodon? What is PeerTube? There are no stupid questions except for the questions unasked. Now, we've had federated networks since the dawn of the internet. In fact, email is the oldest and most used federated network. You have an email server over here, let's call it Gmail, and you have a email server over here, let's call it Yahoo. Um, they can talk to one another because they are a federated network. They use the same protocol, and that protocol is compatible across the board. This is an introduction to ActivityPub Fediverse. All right, so we're gonna start talking about ActivityPub. Not just ActivityPub on its own, but the networks that use ActivityPub, and ActivityPub is like the glue that connects everything. So this is a proposed WC3 standard. Um, I'm not sure if it's been accepted. I know it's it's a protocol, um, but it is already in production in lots of places. Um, most famously, it's in production on Mastodon. Mastodon is a very, um, I would say, Twitter-inspired uh, short uh, blog posts. So it's basically 500 characters or less per post. You can add images, video, um, uh, sound. Well, with the video. I wish they had regular sound. They don't have that yet. I guess it depends on the instance too, because each instance has its own rules. Now, ActivityPub allows people on uh, mastodon.sdf.org and people at uh, mastodon.social to talk and share with one another. So if you are, if you decide to run your own host, which is not very hard to do, um, you launch your host, you have you and your friends on it, but you and your friends aren't limited to only talking with among each other. You can talk to everyone in the activity pub protocol. That means like I, here's my uh, Mastodon and I have people that I'm talking to who are not in my uh, particular network. But there's also tools like PeerTube. Now there's a very small chance if you're watching this video, you're watching this video on my PeerTube channel. Um, but the nice thing about PeerTube, and let me let me move over to my my PeerTube channel here. I got my video channels, the Arthur Linux Show. So I've started posting on here. But if I take, well, let me stop this subreddit. So it's going. If I take the URL to this video and I drop it into my Mastodon, magically, it all is connected. Boom. There's the video we were just talking about. It plays right through here. You can comment right through here. So regardless of what network you are actually on, you can you can interact with all the pieces of the ActivityPub protocol. Uh, a new one that I'm really excited about is PixelFed. And PixelFed might look a little familiar because it's designed to look and feel a lot like uh, like Instagram. Um, I'm hoping some pretty sweet applications come out that are more f uh, photography focused. Though I'm sure in time I should be able to use all the applications I'm already using to post to this one. Um, but again, here's a beautiful picture of my desktop. Uh, after cleaning it. It probably won't look like that for much longer. But, again, if I go into Mastodon, paste the URL for that, guess what happens? That's right. There it is. The same protocol, same software. It's all unified. Right now, there's a few issues. For example, I have three accounts. One on PixelFed, one on PeerTube, and one on Mastodon. But I think they're looking a way to consolidate those. So you would take your say you have a Mastodon user and you could use that Mastodon user to log into your PeerTube account and then use it to set up your PixelFed account and what 
but and so forth. So that's something to look forward to, but it always comes back down to the power of Activity Pub. Okay, so I hope this helps answer some of your questions, but if you have more questions, feel free to follow me on Mastodon. You can ask me questions there. I also have a Twitter, though I'm not as active anymore. Mastodon has kind of replaced my social media experience. All right, guys. Peace.